Hi, Chris. It's Karen. Um, I put together my palette based on your palette for the makeup. I have no makeup on. I am, I'm, I can't talk, but I'm undergoing a skin cancer treatment thing for my face and I'm doing it in sections. So um, I have lots of stuff coming out from the skin cancer stuff that I'm using. So we're going to cover that up. If you have some spots on your face, I did put in some color correction. If you have any distractions on your face that you want to hide, that's what we're going to do first. So here's your palette. I got you one that you can grow into because you got a free palette that was worth almost 50 bucks. So you can grow into it. So you're going to put the first color corrector, which is this orange. And this is 03. It's going to go there. Then you have Y01. Then you have what we call your foundation color, your main one, which is sandy. Candlelit, the dark color, which is olive. La Sango, which is your lip and cheek. Because your palette's so big, we're gonna divide up the eyeshadows. We have Cupcake, Chai, and Soulmate. So first thing you wanna do is color correct. You got two brushes. You're gonna take the spot brush. It has a little tiny end and it has a bigger end. We're gonna take the little tiny end and we're gonna go into the brighter orange. I'm sorry this orange, the 03, and where you have dark circles, we're just gonna tap, tap, tap. So it's gonna color correct that. You take the big end and you just buff. So you can see where that took away the blue, purple. Come over here and do the same thing. You just need a little bit, I probably put too much. Take the big end and just kind of buff it in. So that got rid of my dark circles. That simple, right? It's pretty amazing. Then you're gonna take the same small end, but you're gonna go into Y, 01, which is this brighter orange. You can see I use this a lot. And where you have red, these are my skin cancer eruptions. I'm gonna lightly tap. So any areas on your face that you think are distractions, just tap that on lightly with the brush and then you just buff it. Buff, buff, buff. I'll be glad when the skin cancer stuff is going. But I'm doing it in sections so that my whole face is in a scab. So you can see where that took that away, right? It's kind of magical. So again, any age spots or anything on your face that you just don't like. We don't hide everything. Our faces are our faces and they're beautiful. But if there are spots that bother you, I have these spots that bother me right now. So you can see where it got rid of those. And I have one big one here. Just tap over and then buff. So from where I started to now, to be honest with you, that's pretty good, right? It got rid of a lot of those distractions. So now you're going to do the same thing and you'll get used to it. You just tap on and then you just buff. Next thing you're going to do is take the big brush. You have two ends. This is called a 3D brush. You're going to take the big end. We're going to tap into Sandy. That's your main highlight. Now you just color corrected, so you don't want to wipe that off. So what we're going to do is push Sandy into the skin. So we dab it. We don't want to swipe. Push, push, push. 
push, push, push. And if I uncolor correct something, I can go back in and color correct it. So I could put too much on right now, it doesn't matter. You're in charge of the coverage. You can do one layer, you can do a couple layers, whatever you feel makes sense. This makeup is cream based, so if you make a mistake, it's no big deal. So sandy kind of much pretty all over. Then you're gonna take the small end. It looks like a little dead, like a little dagger. And you're gonna go into candle it. That's your brightener, what we call a concealer. We're gonna come into the corner of the eye. Just a little bit, because you color corrected that. Come out here. So as mature ladies, what we don't wanna do is come right under the eye or into our wrinkles. Pop this up. I'm even gonna put some on my eyelid. Cause I have some purple up there. Down the center of my nose. And make a little T because we wanna brighten this area by our eyes. Okay. Next thing you're gonna do is take that same end you can wipe it off and you have the brush cleaner, which is amazing. You'll be so happy you got that. You're going to go into the contour, which is olive. Dab into there. So what we want to do is where a cheekbone is, we want to go right below the cheekbone and push up until we get to the, about the center of the eye. What we don't want to do is pour face down. So I'd never want to go down like this. I want to think of a Nike swoosh and push up can't go wrong so don't be shy come below my cheekbone and push up so you see how that immediately contoured it now we're going to rub all this in being very deliberate i'm going to come down here and contour so if you think you have jowls this is great contour here blend in my neck i can even blend or contour my nose See how this will make it slimmer. Right under here. And then up here. So the maker of this makeup believes your face, well, your faces are three-dimensional, that we shouldn't just put on one color. So there we have our distinct lines. Next thing I'm going to do is go into La Cienga. I'm just going to take my finger. That's a lip and cheek. I'm going to go right above that contour. And a little to my lips. It's a beautiful color. Then you're simply going to take the big end of the same brush you've been using and you're going to start to blend everything. We're going to blend up. Blend, blend, blend. You can literally blend it off. You just want to blend it in. Push it down into the skin. Blend, blend, blend. to see in these phones <laughs> I'm getting old eyes so there you go that's the makeup part right if I wanted to deepen my lips I could take a lip brush and go into La Sanga and be a little bit more deliberate this is a really neutral color it would be beautiful on you Okay, then eyeshadows. I didn't get you an eyeshadow brush because I imagine you had one. I didn't want to add to your cart, but you're welcome to order it at a later point. Um, at home, if you have an eyeshadow brush, ours is 22 bucks if you do want to get it. There are two ends. We have a small end. Then we have a big fluffy end. You have three shades, shades that go with any eye color. We're going to go into cupcake, very neutral. I'm gonna take that right below my brow. Next thing, 
We both have hooded eyes, so our eyelids are heavy. So watch this trick. You're gonna go into that second color called chai. You're gonna tap into it. Keep your eye open. Come above your crease. Windshield wiper it. What you don't wanna do is this. You don't wanna close your eye and come down here in the crease because that just pulls the eye down. You wanna open up your eye when we have hooded lids. So you keep your eye open, windshield wiper above the crease. Next thing you're gonna do is take your finger, or you could take the small end of a brush, go into Soulmate, come into the corner of the eye, to the middle of the eyelid, pop a little shimmer. Yes, mature women can add shimmer. And we just blend. Isn't that beautiful? And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Start at the center of the eye, come into the corner of the eye, and blend. Finally, I would take the small end of the brush, go into chai, come under my eye, and we'll smoke it. A little eye liner that's really basic. You could even take that chai and do your eye brows to add a little definition. And voila, you are done. So you have your two brushes. The brush cleaner is amazing. You just, let me grab one. You simply spray the brush this stuff is amazing. Spray the brush, take a towel, microfiber cloth, rub into the towel. It cleans the brush. It smells amazing and it's ready to use. So the brush cleaner is, is amazing um, and the makeup is amazing. So I am here for you. That is your tutorial. Start with your color correction first. There's two oranges. Get your little uh, under eye dark circle to go away. Pinpoint any distractions on your face with the other one. You just tap it lightly anywhere you see a distraction, I can't talk, and buff it. And then you put on your foundation, concealer, contour, your lip and cheek. I am here for you. So if that wasn't a good tutorial, we can always zoom and do it together. But this will always be saved to my private Facebook, or not my private, my private YouTube page. So you'll always have this video. I want you to love the makeup. So please reach out if you have any questions whatsoever. Thank you.